Hi, these blooms are first timers on my channel, even though my fowls here have been in my collection quite some time, with the exception of Bubblicious. So I'm going to introduce to you my fowl collection that has survived the semi-hydro LECA self-water transition and all the trials and tribulations over the past two years where I didn't let them bloom in order for them to recover. And two years later, here we are. It is a nice little spectacle. I am very pleased to say that these are now back in bloom and on the right track. I'm going to do my best to make sure that they stay that way. And today was insect prevention day. It was a cloudy day this morning and I made sure to have them out here. I wiped them all down with insecticidal soap. I only found two fowls that had started to look like they were getting scale, so we dealt with that very quickly. I do not want to have two years of work reduced to nothing within six weeks because scale got in and took them out like they did two of mine last year. So let me introduce you to my complex hybrid fowl collection that is currently in bloom. Others are still in spike or in bud. They haven't bloomed out yet, so there will be a part two eventually. Here on the left is big boy Harlequin. Big, I mean huge blooms. Impressive. Now my bloom spikes aren't as floriferous as they used to be, which I also understand seeing as they had to recover a lot. But you know what? If this is what a fowl can give me, then I am okay with it because I do not supplement with any extra light on these. They only get the residual light of the artificial lights during the winter and they never have really any high light, shade, anything like that during the summer either. So if this is what they can give me based on the circumstances that they are dealing with, that's fine. Funny how one bloom here on Harlequin has decided to face backwards. These do not normally get moved at all. Today I might forfeit some buds because I did move them out for maintenance, but I, maintenance has to be done. And I prefer to do it outside when I'm splashing around with water on them because of the breeze to get them dried out. This right here is Walter. A gift from a gentleman by the same name who usually comes to visit us during the summer months from Argentina. And unfortunately, last year he couldn't make it because of the global cooties. And I told him that please do not gift me any more fowls because I do struggle sometimes with the transition of them. I think I've nailed it now though. I'll show you uh, one shortly. But I hate losing gifts. So this is Walter and has been doing great. Walter never ever objected to any transition at all and has been blooming for me every single year since I've gotten him. <laughs> I have to say him. Very, very pretty. So not having seen Walter for almost two years, I am now quite happy to have this fowl to remember him by. Maybe one day he'll come back just in time to see it bloom again. Or maybe Walter, you see this video. Who knows? But that is Walter. Here is Alexandra. This is the first fowl my daughter bought for herself after her brother passed away. She was told that orchids would do great to be having around to uplift the spirits. Just some beauty in the home, light in the darkness. And so she got herself this. And when I then came to Spain, I named her Alexandra. And Alexandra is blooming again as well for the first time in two years after having to transition into self-watering with LECA. And then here is my lemon meringue. This is a gift from my daughter to me. She knows I like greenish blooms. They look a little bit more on the butter yellow side here on camera, but they're more on the green tinge. And I called her lemon meringue. 
because I just happen to like lemon meringue a lot and I think she is gorgeous. Of course, none of these have any fragrance whatsoever, but I'm so happy to see this one in bloom again because look at the plant itself now. Impressive. I have lost a few gifts from my daughter and that has always been so upsetting. But here we are, at least lemon meringue is back and is a very, very healthy, happy orchid in her setup. Here is Maximilian, back in bloom. So happy to see this one as well. Maximilian was gifted to us on the first memorial golf tournament of my son after he passed away. So it was clear to me that Maximilian would have to be the name of this orchid. Big, beautiful, typical white fowl. Love, love, love seeing this orchid again. Maximilian has a maxi, which is a mini white fowl in the same display that was gifted to us. But maxi is still in bud, so not on this table. But this is making me very, very happy. Finally doing well in the setup as well. Oh yes, this is a relief, big relief. And over here, I have Bubalicious. I did a transition video on her. My daughter picked her out and gasped, Mom, look, and I'm like, oh, my heart sank. Having a little bit of a bad history sometimes with getting the timing right of the transitions to Lekka and self-watering, and then I saw this beauty. So I called her Bubalicious. And she is a beauty and she never skipped a beat. So that video of the transition from bark to Lekka and self-watering, I will link in the description below if you're interested to hear what my hesitations are and were at the time. But Bubalicious took off like a rocket and I did the transition while she was still in bloom. Look at that now. I don't get the commercial big spikes and that is to be understood. They have a different treatment here. They don't have the perfect, perfect conditions. My climate in winter in the dining room is also sometimes a little bit too cold for their preferences. But all of that aside, another gorgeous fowl. And that is why they are outside today. It's a bit of a breezy day. It was a bit of a cloudy day this morning and they all got their preventative insecticidal soap treatment. I wiped down the leaves and dealt with some scale, signs of scale, and three little buggers were sat on Alexandra. I got rid of those, and it is now just a time to be very, very vigilant and not just stare at the blooms, but also to stare at the crevices, the nodes, the underside of the leaves, just to make sure that I'm not caught off guard anymore. So that's my little history and why I named these fowls the way they are. And in future, we'll probably see a lot more of them because fowls and I, it was a very, very difficult relationship to get them going. And I think now I've managed to crack the code on how to transition them. I have two more fowls to transition this year. And we'll talk about what I think I did wrong in the past and what I'm doing correctly now. In the meantime, have yourselves a wonderful day from Babalicious, Maximilian, Lemon Meringue, Alexandra, Walter, and Harlequin. Please stay safe. Thank you so very, very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.